it really will be very different results-wise from week to week, I think, between all these teams. Ooh, look at this. It's Hanzo. Well, it's Hanzo's shoulder anyway. Oh. Wow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I have the same tattoo. What a coincidence. <laughs> I never knew that. You don't show it off on broadcast, I, though, I no. don't. Yeah, are you I doing don't. your Hanzo cosplay? That's right. Oh. So you shouldn't uh, snap the bow without an arrow in it. That's very hard on the string. I, I learned that because I used to do some archery. Oh, very good. You know, Chobra and I once did Korean archery together. How'd that go for I you? I was way better than him. Oh my gosh, it's my parents. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is. That is actually the human beings that spawned Doa right there in front of you. And they are wonderful, <laughs> wonderful human beings. Got here today, right? Oh, is it? High five. Yes. <laughs> they did. Oh, that's me. Oh, hi. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> That's Do right. I look welcome, like them? Welcome to Korean TV, Doa. <laughs> Thank now you. everybody knows. That's right. Well, I couldn't be prouder. They're wonderful parents, and I wouldn't be here without them. Not that they, like, carried me <laughs> to Korea. I took a plane. <laughs> they carried me on their backs across the Pacific Ocean all the way to South Korea. Wow, no, impressive. That's actually not true. Good swimmers. Yeah. Or flyers. <laughs> they can fly as well. <laughs> yes, that's right. The mutant powers are strong. Now I know where you got your casting superpowers from, Doa. It's true. The secret's <laughs> out now. Oh, well. I'm one of a kind. Can't do much more. I really can't argue with that <laughs> statement. That is one statement that is truly indisputable. Well, there you for, go. For better or worse. <laughs> That's right. But it's awesome to have them here. You know, I get, I, I've been here five years. It's the first time they've been out here, you know, when I've been here. So I'm showing them all the, the wonders that Seoul has to offer. It's been awesome. So let's get into our first best of five. Of and of course, there's Opa Rochi. They're uh, one of their <laughs> stone crackers. I know, right? In, in a Korean, that basically translates to Papa Roach. Opa Rochi. <laughs> so good. More like older brother Roach, technically, I yes. suppose. You can kind of say it in a sort of Papa sort of way as well. But yeah. Either way, it's pretty troll. It is pretty troll. It is. All right. Welcome to sunny Eichenwald. I was going to say beautiful like it, but all the buildings are kind of wrecked, so. Hey, there's a certain I beauty in its decay, Doa. I suppose it's true. Sort of certain uh, abandoned beauty. Abandoned or not, though, you got to get the payload into the castle. Got to collect the old armor. I don't understand why you have to take the battering ram after you batter down the gate all the way into the throne room. <laughs> well, the thing is, is what I don't understand is why don't you just walk around the... Uh, Door that clearly is wide open. Do you really need to batter down that door? You just walk, you can jump through the hole in the top of the door, especially just since walk it, around it. The portcullis closes right after, so yeah. you're, you're definitely not going to take heavy vehicles in there to get the armor. So yes, it, it makes literally no sense why you would have to do this. Maybe the dude that owned that armor is still in there, and he's just like, I just wanted to seize the battering ram <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Maybe that's it. I don't know. We're still working on, uh, you know, writing the lore for Overwatch. We've, we've, we've gotten a good start. <laughs> I think we'll put that in. The I do understand some of the other payloads, right? Like you got to take the Doomfist Gauntlet yeah. to the museum. There's actually a point to that. There is literally no point to taking the battery ram in there. In this you got to get the Omnic movie executive to his parking yeah. space in Hollywood. To, to his makes trailer, sense. you know. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Icon Vault makes no sense, but it is a fun map. I do enjoy this map, both playing and watching. Sound barrier up for Envy, able to drop that and prevent the follow-up damage from getting any pickoffs onto the Frozen members, so they get the final shove in right there. The Frozen members was the name of my punk rock band in high <laughs> school, actually. How did you know? It's, that's eerie. <laughs> the similarity. It does sound like a punk rock band. <laughs> I will right. give you that. Especially because I am from Minnesota, so it, it does work. What was what was your logo for the Frozen members, Noah? That's, uh, that's the real a, question. How punk rock not, were you? It's not broadcast appropriate. I'm sorry. We have to stop the conversation there. <laughs> you know, every time I look at the castle on this map, I keep feeling like I'm going to run into my Diablo 3 character here. It is highly reminiscent. It, it is a bit, yeah. Yeah. This is my high school days rocking out with the other members of the Frozen members. <laughs> I don't know yep. what that says about you. Know. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> Hey, we just uh, rocked hard, you know? What can you say? All right, welcome to Dorado. Battleground. Land of dudes with Dorado. black light, glow-in-the-dark tattoos, and which are pretty cool, actually. Fancy electric cigarettes. Would you get a glow-in-the-dark tattoo? I'd get a- It only appears I'd, at night. I'd get a fancy electric ziggurat. Oh, really? Yeah, I'd rather have one of those than a glow-in-the-dark ta tattoo. I don't think I need a neon skull on my face, though. I wouldn't get a skull. I don't know what I'd get. A pony. Maybe. <laughs> a pony? <laughs> An electric pink pony. 
not my first choice. I gotta gotta be honest. I would get like a little Super Mario that was like normal color during the day, and then at night, no. you'd like turn to Big Mario. Wouldn't you get like a That'd lightsaber a lightsaber handle where the blade oh, only yeah. appeared at night? That's a good That's idea. Oh, now I'm actually gonna manage. That's brilliant. I, like it. I know you so well, though. <laughs> well, you know, next year my birthday is uh, appears. You know, I'll, I'll be I'll be expecting that. Okay. I'll work you. on that. I'll, I'll work on that for you. <laughs> Just so you know, let you know early. All right. Well, if you yeah. can build up the Graviton Surge and the Dragon Arrow. And <laughs> oh, no. I guess she's surprised how she was on camera earlier with her cosplay, but now she's ashamed. Don't be afraid, other Hanzo. <laughs> Everybody to the Intel Overwatch Apex Season 1, I am Doe with, and, and, and that was a great intro. With me is Monte Cristo. I'm just so flustered today, Monte, because we've got a Freak of Freaks Blue versus Rogue in our first match. And this is, of course, a quarterfinals rematch from uh, Apex just a few weeks ago. And we'll keep you abreast of this topic. That's I love right. the fact that we actually have a reason for the pause on the screen now. It's this great. Is, uh, this is a new development you in esports. It gives me time to do something that I'm sure you've been hoping, praying that I would do <laughs> today. What? And that is sing happy birthday no, to please, you on the cast. No, please, no. Guys, it's Monty's 30th birthday today. <laughs> so here we go. Happy no, birthday to no. you. Monty loves this. Happy birthday no, to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mephistoph. I'm Monte Cristo. <laughs> Whoops, messed that one up. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. <laughs> Jesus. No, Just what you. you've always thank wanted. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What I really We've been together for four <laughs> years on the casting desk, and I've never gotten to sing you happy birthday on a broadcast before. You know what I really wanted, Doa? Yeah. The one time I would have accepted singing happy birthday at me was when it was my uh -huh. birthday two years ago in the World Cup Stadium in Seoul <laughs> for the finals. Yeah. What I really wanted was the awesome power to have 40,000 people sing happy birthday to me, but I didn't that get it. That would be cool. I didn't get it. I'm sorry. I, I tried to <laughs> I tried to, to deliver, but... Uh, it was great. It Thank was beautiful. You. It was uh, much more melodious than 40,000 people would have been. I was thinking about a way to convey my appreciation for you as a human being and a well, co-caster. Co know that your appreciation <laughs> is worth more than 40,000 people's appreciation. You know, it, in, in theory, if people watch the VODs a lot, then... Uh, We've sung it. I've sung it for you in front of more than 40,000 people, so maybe, maybe. We'll get there. We'll get there. Someday. Someday. <laughs> we'll be the big crowds. Like, that's one of those plays where I look at it and be like, wow, that is amazing. But also, what would have happened if you missed that? And the answer is, oh, we're just going to look at it. Oh, yeah, now. see, because it's your birthday today. <laughs> it this is. is Monte Cristo loves this kind of thing more than anything in the world. His attention given to him on his birthday. Yeah, that's, that's It's right. his favorite thing. That's Happy right. birthday, Monte <laughs> Cristo. Yay. <laughs> yeah, it's your present. The producer just said that was your birthday present. That, that, I Getting guess. To, Being on camera is my on. birthday present. It's like my birthday three times a week. Though. Ah, but that, <laughs> that shot, you were on uh, Korean television, though. Okay. That's right. Well, thanks, Ojian. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and lately, the only other people from our like crew, I guess, that were on Korean television was my parents. Yeah. And me. So you have to... You have to be close. You have to be close to the crew to make it to Korean television. <laughs> Proximity to dough is what gets you on Korean television. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> That's, uh, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> if only you could get me on a K-pop video. I'm pretty sure you could. Whoa, yeah. drop the bass. I think it's ready. Okay, yes. I think it's finally time, guys. Let's get to Nepal and see who jumps out to an early lead in this best of five between a Freak of Freaks Blue and Team Rogue. And I guess we're going to show you that it's going to be in Nepal again, just in case you forgot. Who do you want to win on your birthday, Monty? Me. <laughs> you already have, though. You already have with my serenade. Well, we hope you keep winning. I get it. You get it? I get it. All right. I think it's about time to move on to Nepal. We really have no idea. Oh, there we go. Let's get in the game. Boost. Recry taken out by Knox. Looks like that's going to be the hold, and Rogue will take Sanctum. Goodbye. Oh, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a Genji. Is it ever really goodbye? Jin going to try and get on the point now. No, oh. And they're going to try to push in. All right, Munchkin with the dead eye. Part up by the nano boost. Goes for it. Sound barrier preventing him from really getting anything done there. Has to dodge away from the Blizzard, too. And, yep, he will not last. Really good shutdown. And No, we haven't actually mentioned Ooh. this before as they get cleaned up, but it's actually in Korean. He doesn't say it's high noon. No, he doesn't. He says uh, it's sundown. 
<laughs> because apparently <laughs> high noon doesn't have the same connotation because of course there was there was there were no believe it or not Monty in the history of crew there were no uh, old west cowboys cowboy duels yep there were there was nothing like that with the sun blazing in the sky so, so uh, he actually says yeah it's sundown it's sundown in Korea huh. it's, it's a different time you know different time zone in the west so that is true when it's high <laughs> noon in the U.S. It, is it sun I don't know I, I always get confused with time zones all right, welcome to the shrine. And apparently it's a shrine to elephants, I guess? It's, uh, sure, Ganesh. Ganesh is a good thing to have a shrine to, Doa. Yeah, Omnix love elephants, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a known fact. <laughs> it's in the blizzard, and now going after Taimu. And Tajin really showing what he can do on this Reaper, and that's going to be a point retake for Lunatic High. Yep, get it back, 61% there. Our Tajin. Arte Jun, and that's the, the meme, right, Doa? You want to explain that one? Yeah, well, I mean, in the Korean scene, uh, Tae Jun is very up and down. He's like a roller coaster of skill. And when he's doing well, the Korean fans call him our Tae Jun, and when he's not, they call him your Tae Jun. <laughs> right now, he's our Tae Jun. He's doing okay. Do or die, you kind of have to throw the kitchen sink at him, too. Tailspin, a bit low as he moves out. Here comes Envious. They've got that pulse bomb, but no other alts at the moment. But anyway. they can wait for the big bang. Oh! Here comes the Death Blossom. Tajin gets one on Tailspoon immediately. Tailspoon. <laughs> Tailspin immediately. <laughs> it's fun being a caster, Monty. Earth Shatter from Miro. They've got the sound barrier. It certainly seems to be. It's a, it's a good map for it. And of course, Envious foregoing the Mercy as we see done uh, pretty often lately. Eska, no, you're, you're supposed to hit the pinata with a bat. You're not supposed to shoot yeah, it with Reinhardt an Reinhardt is obviously the one who should be swinging away at those pinatas. Seriously, uh, yeah. When are we going to get the, the baseball Reinhardt skin where he has like just a big bat and then his shield is like a big catcher's mitt? Just a big glove? That sounds horrible. Awesome. <laughs> I know you how meant you, to see. How you accidentally you? said horrible. I think you meant awesome there. but How would you make his shield a giant glove in that shape, Doa? It's really, it's really <laughs> wide. He's got a very wide hand. Don't ask me these questions, man. It's not my job. That's Blizzard's design team. I just come up with the great ideas as Envious starts to push here, and they've got the... Fair enough. Well, taking a look at some of our highlights here from Numbani, a point where saw Envy able to full hold. Aska. Bang, bang, bang. Taking him out. It's sundown, as they say in Korean. Right. <laughs> it's high down. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a different time of day in Korea than it is in, uh, in the rest of the world, pretty much. This was cute by Eska.